Okay, so we move on the second example. Okay, so the first one uh, by using graph method. So we do have two equations here. So the first one we have linear equation, and then this one is the second linear equation. So work from the first linear equation, two x minus y equals to two. We need to draw the table number. Okay, x and y. So you need to find the intercept of both. Intercept. So when x equals to 0, so here 2 times 0 equals to 0 minus y. So negative y equals to 2. Okay, we don't want the negative, we only want the positive part, we only want the y. So here we need to divide everything by negative 1. Okay, so here we have y equals to negative 2. Okay, so here negative 2. Alright, so and then after y equals to 0, y equals to 0, so here you have 2x minus 0, so it will become 2x equals to 2. So we don't want the 2, so we divide everything, both sides by 2. So we have x equals to 2, divide by 2, we get 1. Okay, so after we draw, we want to draw the number table number we need to plot yeah so this one when x equal to 0 y equals to negative 2 here yes because this one negative 1 negative 2 this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 and etc okay we need to plot the the both axes yeah? all right so when x equal to 0 y equals to negative 2 i already plot 1 when x equals to 1, y equals to 0. So here. Okay, after that you need to draw a, a linear graph. So this one, you need to join these two points. We have this kind of line. Yeah. So we will work on, on the second example. Which is y plus 2x equals to 4. Okay, you need to draw table number. So we have x and y. So you need to find the value for both intercepts. So when x zero, definitely y plus two times zero. So you will get y equals to four. Okay. And then when y equals to zero, you will get uh, zero plus two x. So that means you have two x equals to four. We don't want the two, so we need to divide both sides by two. So after that, we need to cancel out the two. So x equals to. 4 divided by 2, you get 2 here. So after that, you need to plot. When x0, y equals to 4 here. And then when x equals to 2, y equals to 0 here. Okay. So after you do the plotting, you need to join a line. So it will be like this. Okay. So here, we have the point of inter intersection that I mentioned before here. Okay. So this one, when x equals to, perhaps it is at the center, 1.5, and then you have the value of y, which is equals to 1. Okay, so the answer is y equals to 1, and then x equals to 1.5. Okay, it's very simple as much as that. But sometimes, perhaps the value 1.5 is not... Um, It's not really correct. Okay, as you just approximate it in, into the graph. Okay. Okay. So let us check with uh, using other methods. Do we have these two value of x and y? Right. So we move on the second method, which is substitution method. Kaida penggantian. So the name is substitute. So key point you need to substitute everything. Okay. So here we do have the. Uh, equation so this is the first equation so this is the second equation so here substitution I take the first equation so first equation we have x plus y equals to 4 so I take x or y as the subject okay both can so when I take x uh, x or y as subject so x must be at the left hand side I don't want the y so I bring to the other side so plus y will become will become what? It will become minus y. Move on the other side. So it will become four minus y. Okay. So this is the first thing. 
Okay, step one. Okay, step two. Okay, this is the substitution method apply. Substitute x equals to 4 minus y into the other equation. So, we already used equation 1. So, use the other equation. So, equation 2. Yeah? So, we have 3x minus 2y equals to 2. Okay, so after that, x we need to substitute. So, that means we need to use the bracket. So, we have 4 minus y, close bracket. And then we have minus 2y equals to 2. Right? So, after this, you need to expand. You need to expand the expand. Okay, so 3 times 4, you have 12. Minus 3 times y, you have y. 3y, sorry. And then everything goes on. Okay. So, here, okay, we try to continue. So, we have 12 minus, okay, this one 12 minus 5y equals to. Alright, so, after this, we have, uh, okay, I want to bring 5y to the other side and then to do the other side. So, I have 12 minus 2 equals to, okay, negative 5y, bring to the other side, you have 5y, positive 5y. So, 12 minus 2 equals to 10, equals to 5y. So, I want y, I don't want 5. What I need to do, I need to divide by 5 in order to get y. So, 10 divided by 5, I get 2. 5 with 5, I can cancel, equals to 2. So, take y as subject, y equals to 2. Okay? Okay, so, you already get y equals to 2. So, set 3. Substitute y equals to 2 into any of the equation, okay? I will take the easier equation, which is equation 1, or x equals to 4 minus y to get the value of y. Alright, so 4 minus y equals to 2, so you have x equals to 2 in this case by using substitution method okay it's very easy okay mm. okay how about the second example it's a kind of complicated thing okay actually you can choose okay from both uh question so which one is suitable to make as subject okay if I am going to choose, I'm going to choose equation 1. Okay, so I take y as the subject. So 2x minus y equals to 2. So I have 2x, this one, 2 bring to the other side, I get minus 2. Y bring to the other side, I get y. Okay, because minus, bring to the other side, become plus. Okay, so y equals to 2x minus 2. So I take y as the subject. Okay, from the first uh, step. Okay, this one step one. Alright, so after that, step two. Uh, substitute. Y equals to 2x minus 2. Into the other e equation. So in this case, into equation 2. Eh? So equation 2, I get x, uh, sorry, y plus 2x equals to 4. So, substitute y. So, here I replace y with 2x minus 2 that I get before, okay, like in the box here. Okay, and then everything I copy down. Okay, after that, okay, 2x plus 2x will become 4x minus 2 equals to 4. Okay, and then 4x equals to 4 plus 2. Okay, so I want the x. So 4x equals to 6. Okay, I want the x only, so I divide both sides by 4. So here I get x equals to 6 over 4. 
and then I try to simplify so I get 3 over 2 which is 1.1.5 okay after I get the value of x now I try to substitute x value x equals to 1.5 into the suitable equation so I take um, y equals to 2x minus 2 this is the equation so I insert okay, 2 bracket 1.5 minus 2 so here I get 3 minus 2 so y equals to 1 so I get both answer x and y okay, which is same answer like I used in the first method okay all right so we move on the elimination method Okay, elimination. So that means you need to eliminate the possible uh, equation. Eliminate uh, by using um, the suitable operation. Okay. So here we move on the first example like we did before. Okay, this one first equation. This one second second equation. So what will happen in this case? Uh, I want to stabilize the first and the second equation so the first one equation i will times three okay okay so x times three what you get here you will get three x y times three what you get you will get three y equals two so four times three what you get twelve so this is the equation one so equation 2 I just copy down so 3x minus 2y equals to 2 this is equation 2 alright so we need to eliminate so that means in this case I have 3x and 3x I want to eliminate 3x so how by using subtraction ok this one I put a bracket so 3x minus 3x so you get 0x so it's gone already ok so 3y minus minus become plus eh you already learned in your previous chapter so 3y minus 2y you have plus 5y equals to 12 minus 2 you have 10 so 5y equals to 10 okay so this one i can just ignore it so i want the y i don't want the 5 so 5y equals to 10. So I divided both sides by 5. Okay, so 5 I can cancel off. So y equals to 2. That's what I get. Okay. So after we get answer y equals to 2, we can insert or substitute. Substitute y equals to 2 okay, into any of the easier equation. So, I take 1. Eh? So, I take 1 as before. So, x plus y equals to 4. So, x plus replace y equals to 2 here. So, I will get x equals to 4 minus 2. <coughs> so, the answer... <laughs> it will be x equals to 2. So, I already get 2 possible, I mean 2 answer, eh? solution. Okay, so that one is to solve the first example. Alright, so second one, by using elimination method. Okay, so this equation, it has same thing, 2, 2 example. Sorry, two linear equation. Okay, I want to rearrange. Yeah? I want to rearrange the second equation. So, it will be like this. Y plus 2x equals to 4. Eh? This one the second equation. But I want to rearrange. So, I rearrange. So, I don't want to use like this. I want 2x to be in front. So, I take 2x plus y equals to 4. Okay, just rearrange the equation back. So this one is equation 2. Okay. 
Alright, so equation 1, we just copy down 2x minus y equals to 2. So equation 1. Okay, so in this case, we need to identify, okay, we should minus or plus. We want to cancel the, eliminate the 2x here. So we can subtract, yeah, minus. So that 2x minus 2x will become 0x. So it will be gone. So plus y minus minus become plus. Bracket kan? So you get plus here. So you have plus 2y equals to 4 minus 2 you get 2. So 2y equals to 2. You want the y. So you divide both sides by 2. So you get y equals to 1. Okay, very easy. Okay, after that, you do the same thing. Substitute. Y equals to 1 into any of the easier equations. So, I take 2. Eh? 1 also can, 2 also can. Both we can use. Okay, so 2y plus 2x equals to 4. Okay. So, y equals to 1 plus 2x equals to 4. 2x equals to 4 minus 1. Okay. And then, because this one plus, we move from the other, to the other side, we become minus 1. Lah. And then, we get 2x equals to 3. I want the x, so I divided both sides by 2. Alright, so cancel off the 2. So, final answer, I will get x equals to 3 over 2 or 1.5. Okay, so you already get both answers exactly the same like using the other two methods. Okay, you get the same answer. Alright. Okay, so I already saw by using these three methods. So, the end. So, if you have any question, you may ask me. Okay, thank you.